The only two trims that you can get in the 2024 Acura ZDX, yes, Z as in zebra, DX, and the all electric new five passenger SUVs here at Milo Acura at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California. I have to mention to you guys that I'm gonna be showing you guys just the main differences between the right one is the A-Spec trim, versus the left one in the Type S trim. These are the only trims that you can get in the ZDX in the 2024. And we're gonna show you guys the differences from the front to the back exteriors and specs on both these cars. But before we do, shout out to Nilo Acura for these cars. Also keep watching, stay tuned, because we're gonna be talking about the price tags and dropping those MSRP stickers. So let's go ahead and dive in. So let's dive in and talk differences between specs. Now, we only popped one hood because they literally both have the same kilowatt battery at 102 kilowatt battery on board. But what changes the option of able to get the two wheel drive or the all wheel drive in the Type S. Now, your numbers are gonna change with regards to the horsepower and the miles to a full charge and so forth. But on the Type S being the top trim of the ZDX, you get 500 horsepower with 544 pounds feet of torque and 278 miles to a full charge. Now, full charge on both. It takes about 11 hours at 240 volts. If you would like to come in, check out what this engine bay looks like, or shall I say battery bay. The numbers on this exact Type S with regards to the MPG also is 83 city, 74 highway, and a 78 combined. Now, if we shoot over to the A-Spec, everybody. The A-Spec, same exact battery with the 102 kilowatt, but your horsepower is on a real wheel drive, single motor, so you get a 358 horsepower, 324 pound-feet of torque with 313 miles to a full charge. So way big difference, that's, what is that? Uh, 30 or 35 miles extra to a full charge and your MPG is completely different 96 city 83 highway and a 90 combined same charge time okay the dimensions on both cars are the same with 198 inches in length 77 inches in width 64 inches in height with 121 point in inch wheelbase and 7 inch ground clearance max at a towing capacity of 35 100 pounds. Now let's go ahead and shut this hood and talk differences between, to my right, I have the A-Spec rear wheel drive. This is the lower trim. You only get two trims. And then you have the Type S, this being the higher trim, okay? This is coming in at around $66,000 and some change. This is coming in at around $75,000 and some change. I'm gonna show you guys what you get for the differences in price. Now, starting with the lower trim, what we're gonna see that's completely different here, uh, almost nothing other than you have some extra sensors here and a 360 surround view camera here, okay? Those are pretty much the front differences. That sensor there as well. Now, let's go ahead and shoot over. Sensors that you're getting extra, okay? And then the 360 surround view camera. But overall, other than those two differences on the front end, everything is exactly the same. Other, yes, than the color schemes, but remember, they will change with regards to different exterior paint colors. You do have active air vents on both for the wheel area, the dual eye LED headlights, daytime running lights, okay? And the active air vent shutters on the lower grills for those radiators. Now, shooting over to the side, what do we see different on the side? dropping down to the wheel area, okay? We're gonna see different tires, different rims, different brake calibers, and different suspensions. Starting with the lower trim, we're getting a Michelin Primacy all-season tire, and that size is a 265-50-20, so it's a 20-inch tire. Dual color rim, machine surface silver, high gloss black with just a standard brake caliber. And the suspension system is just a standard shock spring strut suspension. But if we come over here to the Type S, the bigger horse in the barn, the higher caliber, we get the Michelin Primacy all season. So it's a higher, a higher uh, caliber tire. And the size on this is coming in at a 275 40 22. So it's a two inch bigger tire. Dual color, same colors, but different design machine surface silver with the high gloss black and the Brembo brake calibers. Get a load of how big those are compared to the small brake caliber and the rotors are different as well. Then you also have the air ride suspension system, completely different. That's the standard shock spring strut that has the air ride. 
Moving forward, we have the Type S emblem, a spec emblem. Both have the charging ports on the driver's side. Side mirrors, the only literally thing that is pretty much different on the side mirrors is that camera on the bottom, okay? So because you have the 360 surround view on the Type S, you get it here on the camera as well, but you don't get it here on the um, A-Spec. Continuing forward, up top, we get the roof rail difference. The A-Spec doesn't have the roof rail, Type S has the roof rails. Also the color schemes, okay? Pay attention that you have completely three different levels of color. You got the silver to the blue and then all black up top. To where here, you have the silver, white, and no black up top, okay? So it kind of separates that top, which is a high gloss black top, adding more to the luxury and exotic look of the Type S, okay? Moving over to the rear end. And now at the rear end of these cars, the main difference is starting with the lower trim. We have no live feed camera here near the integrated brake light into that spoiler. Okay, the badging, the A-spec badging, you're gonna see a Type S, and then you're also gonna see an all-wheel drive here placed as well. And then hands-free tailgate, we don't have on the um, A-spec to where here on the Type S, you do have the hands-free. Now this is still in demo mode. We're not gonna be able to show you the hands-free option, but I'll show you the camera here with the camera washer. We have the Type S badging and then the all-wheel drive that you can only get the Type S in the all-wheel drive to clarify that as well, okay? Hands-free, but I'm not gonna open this one, but with regards to the cargo area, there's nothing much different, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and press, press that button, self-elevating tailgate, opens up to the cargo area, which is about 30 cubic feet of space with the second row up, drop that second row down, and you get about 63 cubic feet of space. Let me go ahead and show you guys how that looks. There, there are no differences in the cargo, okay? Oh. Push that, push that. There you go, that's what 63 cubic feet of space looks like. Lifting up that mat right there, cargo as well, okay? Now, if we come over to the Type S, a slightly different look, you lose that cargo area under the mat. Why? Because you have the air ride suspension and the air ride tank is placed under that cover. Now let's go ahead and manually shut this because it's in demo mode. Close this. Now that we're done showing you guys the main differences and similarities to the rear end of the cars, let's go ahead and show you guys the differences on the interior. So let's go ahead and talk the differences in trims. Now I'm sitting in the lower trim, the A-Spec trim. And what are we gonna see different right off the bat? Let's go ahead and dive in, starting with the door sill plates. This is an A-Spec. The Type S will actually have Type S written on it. Coming over to the seats, exact same seats, but the difference is you're gonna see Type S in the headrest, all right? Now, if we come over to the left-hand side of the electric steering column, we're gonna have one extra button, and that is a button to control ride height. And why? Because of that air ride suspension, and I'm gonna show you guys that later. Coming over to the heads-up display, no heads-up display in the A-Spec. The Type S gets the heads-up display up top. Coming back over to the steering wheel. The steering wheel has a few things going on. The A-Spec and Type S badging difference. You're going to have the Super Cruise button right here to the left of that airbag, which is going to give you that sensor here going across that uh, wheel and the little sensor here as well. Okay. Moving forward over to the rear view mirror, we're going to have instead of live feed, this is just manual. The live feed is in the type S and you can just flip this and actually have that as well. You can actually also use the buttons to dim the lighting on the live feed camera. Dropping down, we have two differences mainly on the infotainment screen. We have the camera icon and also the park assist icon as well, all right? but everything else with the Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Wi-Fi, and all that stuff is the same. Google Assistant, all that is the same. Dropping down, no difference here with the temperature controls, no difference with the USB-C plugins, the 12 volt outlet, no difference here and under as well. No difference with the cup holders, no difference with the wireless charging pad, and no difference with the center console, okay? Guys, those are pretty much the main differences with regards to the front side of the interior. Let's go ahead and shoot over to the second row, show you the differences, and then jump into the Type S and show you guys the bells and whistles and what extra money is gonna get you. Also to put into perspective here on the second bench seat, I wanted to tell you guys, I'm about six feet, two inches, everybody. And to put into perspective for you guys, this is how much room we're getting back on this five passenger seat SUV. Now, the main difference is 
There is no sun visor for your back windows right here up top near the window. No sun visors, that's one. We don't have the tri-zone climate control, that's two. We also don't have the heated seats here in the back, three, and then we don't have the inverter as well, okay? So now this car, remember, $66,000 and some change. I'm gonna show you guys what about nine extra thousand dollars is gonna get you right now. Now let's show you what nine extra thousand dollars gets you on the Type S all-wheel drive. That door sill plate, Type S. Coming over to the headrest, Type S. And then coming over to the live feed camera, phenomenal look, and you could actually use those buttons to dim and turn it off if you don't like the live feed. As well as the infotainment screen, we have the camera system, 360 bird's eye view, and you can actually change the angles on that camera, as well as the auto park assist, okay? Dropping down, there is nothing different, as I mentioned to you guys, okay? Nothing different here. If come over to the steering wheel. Steering wheel, Type S emblem, all right? You got the super cruise button here, also with the sensor going across, as I mentioned, and the sensor here in front as well for that super cruise. And then we come over to the left-hand side of the electric steering column. Remember that extra button that if I go ahead and press it, I can control the ride height and it shows up on your front cluster, okay? That is pretty much the main differences on the front of the interior, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit about uh, this interior. Finish off with the other difference. Sorry, I almost forgot the heads up display, okay? Now just get a load of the 11 inch infotainment screen, 11 inch driver cockpit cluster. You can actually change the theme on that cluster. You can make it full map and crash warning and then go back to your standard. And the infotainment screen, wanted to go back home. This is home, you can actually slide it. You get the on Acura Link OnStar, Google Assist. And I wanna show you guys what it looks like with the full map on this screen as well. Just so you guys kind of get an idea. And this is what it looks like, okay? You can control your temperatures with the hard buttons, heated and ventilated seats here as well. Now that we're done with the front, let's go ahead and show you guys what the rest of the $9,000 gets you in the back. Drop the MSRP stickers and finish up with this video. All right, so now second row seating of the Type S. Remember, sun visor, completely different. Come over to the tri-zone climate control. We can't turn it on because it's in demo mode. This heated seat buttons as well here on the second seats and that inverter, okay? Now, as promised, first here's the MSRP sticker to the A-Spec. $66,000 and some change. I believe it's $66,450. And then if we come over and drop this MSRP sticker to the Type S, this is $75 and like $450, I believe, as well. So it's like a perfect $9,000. Don't forget that the A spec in this video does come rear wheel drive. So if you do add the all wheel drive, I'm sure it's a little bit more expensive. Keep that in mind as well, guys. Now, thank you so much for watching our channel here at Vacabomb Builds. We appreciate you guys. Check out our other videos if you'd like to see more videos like this one. God bless you.